I am entering one change request type. And then I go down and this is the UIBB which we created. So the UIBB name is plant data where we have fields like material, plant, MRP type, MRP controller and lot size. And we have the number of, number of rows. So the idea is when you create some material and you enter some plant details and everything, so it will pop up those information here with the plant information, MRP details, MRP controller details, and lot size. At this moment, we don't have any record. That's what you can see. The delete button is grayed out. The moment we have some record, we can highlight them and we can delete them if you want. Okay. So this is how it will look like. So now, just let me recap how we get it or what was the, the whole requirement. So let me go to MDG IMG. So our objective was to uh, add some custom field, custom entity type. And the idea was to bring them on UI. And particularly, we want to see the technique of adaptation. We want to see the technique of how to bring the new buttons. We want to see how we, we can create a new UIBB user interface building block. So these are all techniques we want to see through this example. So the very first thing which what we did, that is we select the MM data model, went to the entity type and the custom entity type which we have maintained this for YMARC1, which is for plant data. Uh, So this is uh, YMARC1, which is uh, type one, sorry, uh, type four entity type, and uh, which is of course in a relation with material entity type, which is a leading relation. And this is the plant data for material. Then the next one is another entity type, which is of course a uh, type three, and this is not just an entity type, also behave as an attribute. And this is nothing but the plant. Okay. So basically, this is, if you see, it is also associated with some uh, search help, which is a plant related search help. And the description has been maintained as plant. Then the next one is this one, which is also a type three, which is also a behave as an uh, entity type as well as a data element, uh, sorry, uh, attribute. And then uh, this is the data element which it has. This is the search help, and this is nothing but MRP controllers. Then next is, so this is another uh, type three. And this is MRP type. Okay, so if I quickly go back to the NWBC screen, so we have this MRP type, MRP controller, plant, lot size, etc. Yeah. So, so once we have added this, the very next thing is this is the entity type. So the very next thing is to assign the attributes. So last three. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. These three are nothing but the, if you, if you see, they are type three. And also, as mentioned, they also behave as an attribute. But this one, YMARC1, this is a pure entity type, which is having the attribute like the um, uh, ZZ batch, which is indicating basically the lot, uh, batch lots the controls, control details, and then this is also, this is also something related to the plant. And then this is the mark for uh, deletion of the plant data. 
Okay. So these are all attributes and custom attribute, purely custom attribute. Okay. So once this is done, we straight away maintain the we straight away maintain the relationship. So the first relationship which we have with a because I'm right now in MM data model, so it's a material. So material is the leading entity type. So material is in a relation with YMARC1, which is a leading relation. And the cardinality is 1 is to n. That means for one material, there can be more than one batch number or more than one, uh, uh, you know, uh, controllers we can have, etc. Then then the other relations are then the other relations are uh, this one uh, y t zero zero one w uh, which is plant which is in a relation with the plant data for material and this is nothing but this is a uh, qualifying relationship how because this is type 4 and this is type 3 so they are in a qualifying relation and the cardinality is 1 is to n then this is again type 3 and this is another one which is for uh, uh, MRP type I guess and this is the, they both are type 3 so this is nothing but they are basically representing uh, each of them so it's a leading entity relations and then again uh, the type 3 having a relation with type 4 which is a referencing relationship and which is a cardinality uh, 1 is to n so this is the relationship so basically relationship uh, as you know that there is a no standard uh, uh, formula for uh, relations but uh, it all depends on how the requirement is which fields are depending on what uh, what is the whole relations needs to be built so that is how we need to accordingly assign the entity types so once this is done we just activate the data model so once the data model is activated then we straight away come to the uh, generate data model specific structure in the generate data model specific structure we select mm and then this one so this is the entity type which is a type 4 entity type uh, for plant data for material and we selected all the necessary structures for let's say mm, uh, for ui mapping sorry for ui field property for uh, PP mapping, for uh, search application, for uh, data validations and derivations. So the major uh, structures we just maintained here. Okay, and then we select them and we generate the selected structures. What is the idea to have generate them? The moment we generate, so whatever the entity type we have, which is YMARC1, inside this entity type whatever the attributes we have not only that also this entity type having relation with whatever the other entity types those data will be part of this structures so if i show you one of the very important structure this one uh, which is a pp structure then it look like So go to AC 11 and structures, this one, PP mapping, and you can see all these major fields we have, the material number, plant details, the MRP controller, MRP type, the batch indicators, uh, the control data, lot size, and the flag, the mark for 
deletions for plant data. Okay. So these are all details. So once this is done, we will come to the mapping part. Because remember, this data is going to the respective ECC tables, right? So in that case, I need to maintain the SMT mapping. So SMT mapping, again, the entity type will be for me, YMARC1 here. Now, uh, if I see, what is the entity type we have maintained with respect to YMARC? First is, uh, this is the, the option which we have select, that is mapping of reuse activity, which is de defining SMT mapping. Now, this is the two uh, SMT mapping name we have created. One is, uh, the first one is ZMAP YMARC1 2PP which is nothing but staging to the persistent phase. And the second one, which is ZMAP YMARC1 underscore 2 STA, which is nothing but PP to the PP, uh, the pers uh, persistent phase to the activity. So this two, uh, and, and by the way, this is also pure custom ma uh, SMT mapping. This is not at all standard, okay? Now if I show you how we can, uh, maintain this mapping in the system general settings and then uh, data model create edit data model create and edit open Okay, so now, so this is the mapping name which I have maintained. So this is map to MARC table, and this is the source structure. This is the target structure. Source structure is nothing but your PP structure, which you receive after the generate uh, the structures. Target structure is your uh, the backend structure of MARC table, and then the change structure is nothing but the uh, the X structure, which is for SMT mapping. Now the change structure key exists. So like whenever mm, you make some changes, make sure that will trigger. So that's what we uh, change the structure key here. And we have maintained the key field as a material number. So whenever the material number gets updated, the data will be updated as well. Okay. So now go to the detailing, then transformation. And here we have maintained like uh, the details like, first is the lot size, then MRP type. MRP type, then MRP controller, flag material, like whatever we maintain in the data model, this is a standard field and this is the data model fields. And this is the PP structure. Okay. In fact, we can see here um, in the structures, you can see this is mapped. Those fields are mapped. Once this is done, then the next one. to STA. Okay. Now here we have uh, the source structure is again the backend MARC table and the target structure is PP mapping structure. And then go to the detailing transformation. And again, the same sort of thing. Now, the data model fields are here and the standard fields are here. Okay. In the previous case, standard fields were at the left-hand side and the data model field was right-hand side. Now, the data model fields are left-hand side and the uh, standard fields are right-hand side. 
and here this is the mapping okay so once this mapping is done so the next thing is uh, the next thing was that is uh, to uh, maintain the data on UI. So how we we maintain this? So basically, we went to uh, AC80. In AC80, which is nothing but the object navigator. In AC80, the first thing what we did that is we uh, maintain the built in pro. Uh, the web intro component in web intro component okay instead of going to web intro component let's go to the package Okay, it's mdg underscore mat ui. So this is the pack. So this is the package. Now go to web pro. This is the material package name. I'm directly going to the So UI means I'm. So UI means that I'm directly going to the UI uh, section. Then MDGBS mat OBP, and here we have APM application, and and these are all different APM application configuration as we discussed earlier. So I'm just uh, selecting the first one, the basic one. So then uh, start configurator, display, uh, layout, okay, and then uh, selecting the adaptation. So now uh, you can see this adaptation ZMAT VP1. This was present earlier. So I don't want to disturb this one. So I select this one, the first one. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, I created that. So how, how I created it's a, it's the same thing which I was. Mentioning so basically, Okay, can you able to hear me now? Okay. So this is the um, adaptation. So you can see the adaptation which is uh, having the change request type Z to mat VP1. This was present earlier. So I have created the first one, which is like I just put everywhere star for logical actions. Uh, change request type, material type, steps, okay? and then I created this adaptation. So the idea is based on uh, my requirement. I'm create. I have created adaptation. So it's like a kind of a layer of implementations. So in this adaptation, 
what i did i went to the material section and then i have maintained this plant data this new uibb and what is that this is the configuration id and this configuration id if you go inside this configuration uibb so under this configuration uibb you can find it out the list of fields which i maintain so the first thing which i maintained here that is the feeder class so the feeder class which i maintain that is cl mdg bs mat feeder list this is the standard feeder class for the list component and then i click on edit parameters and i have maintained the application name you can give any name and then the node name node means the table in which table ultimately this data is going to update that is marc table and the respective entity type so from which entity type uh, it is coming up that is why marc1 okay so with these three details then i go went to the list uibb schema where i maintain all these entries with the new column okay so this is the material plant etc and then if i go to the toolbar in the toolbar i just maintain the uh, the delete button so this delete button i just maintain here okay so this is the only thing i did inside this configuration then and let me come out from here so then the next thing is the toolbar schema in the toolbar schema already we created the button inside so it's not required anything now the wiring of the schema so wiring the schema i have entered this and if i show you the detailed attributes so this is the detailed attribute so the component which is a list component the configuration id and uh, the the source conf configuration name ultimately it's a material form which is a, a base uh, ui config and then the port type port identifier and the connecting class this information okay and i think nothing else so with this information we just go ahead and execute it so once we you execute you will have this uibb in place okay so at least we can we can see now that uh, how we can create uibb and also we can bring the respective uh, custom entity types or custom attribute on ui level okay so this is one thing which was from the previous session so the same activity i did nothing else uh, you can also compare with the last session you can find out the same activity nothing different okay now uh, can we have aisha in the call aisha is there in the meeting because i have received a mail from aisha okay i'm not sure whether she is there uh, so if i categorically read out her mail what she is trying to say that she has and also this same thing uh, we can see here mm. on the screen so here here you can see the field property of attribute uh, y8 test1 of entity material is missing so i just received the mail from isr and uh, 
the the the, the issue has been maintained there that is uh, the attribute this has been maintained in the data model but uh, it was unable to uh, maintained on ui with the specific cr type so the specific cr type which has been mentioned let me go there let me check the mail one more time just a moment the cr type has been mentioned which is y a c r t Y A C R T. Okay, so this is the C R which has been maintained. Hang on, I think this is wrong. The workflow template is wrong. This will be the workflow template for material. So that is one thing. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Second thing is the configuration ID. The configuration ID also needs to be given. This is the configuration ID. Scenario, I don't think so. Necessary. Okay. And what about next? The business activity. Uh, what is the meaning of YBA? Let me check. Open in DGIMG. Process business activity. No, the, 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 that is not required. This BO type, as it is a part of material, it has to be part of 194. So that is another correction. Okay. Because we have maintained the data model MM. So always MM will go with the BO type 194. Because 194 is the mm, uh, material business object type. Okay. Then what next? No, I think. Uh, Here. Hmm. Oh, I think okay. Now she can. Uh, let me open in WBC. Mm. Create material. Y A C R T. Select the valid change request type. Material this one. Let's remove this and maintain the business activity for materials which is MAT one. 